And many times new converts has the flame and they have the joy and they just they miss the reading and in a day or two you can see they're fading. And in a week or two they don't have the glory, they don't have a testimony, you just have to prompt them and kind of pull them along. Because the flame went out because they failed some leading of the Holy Spirit. What keeps it going? See, God is always there to keep the flame in every heart. Amen. But it's in our hand. Everyone here and everyone that's not here to do exactly what he says. And that keeps it burning. Amen. Praise See, he can't keep it burning through us if we don't follow Jesus and do every leading that he has. That's what keeps the flame burning. <coughs> Are you able to hear it? Amen. That's what keeps it burning is as we obey every leading of the Holy Spirit. If we fail one leading, the fire goes out. And we have to say, oh, forgive me, Jesus. Forgive me for not doing your will. And then we repent. And then it just starts up a little tiny glimmer. And then the flame will come up as we do exactly what he says. And then it comes up into a flame. But if we're faithful, it never goes out. It never dims. The devil may say, you're losing the fire. He's a liar. You say, I'm obeying God and doing God's will. And the flame is there whether we can see it or feel it or not. But if we fail the leading of the Holy Spirit, if we fail to witness when we are, we fail the word, fail family prayer, uh, whatever it is, just the slightest thing, will cause the flame to go out. So obedience by entering the denial keeps the flame burning in every one. And through these years I would see people on fire for a while. Oh, they would just testify and have such and after a while they just start cooling off and, and it, it wouldn't have much of a testimony. Just kinda of have to prompt them and help them. Well the fire went out because they didn't really pray and obey. That's it. Deny self. The self you see, it causes the flame to vanish. True. The old selfishness must be denied constantly. Every man and woman has to do this. We can't run away. We've got to hold steady all the time. Yes, We've got to hold fast. Amen. And when we do, the flame's going to burn. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. True. It'll burn. The darker it is, the more it shows. The darker it is, the more it shows. See, he's never found many that would follow. Oh, we can sing and preach and pray and have a time, but he wants us to follow all the time and do God's will. He wants us to follow and be obedient and then the flame, the fire is on the soul. He doesn't want us just to go and come. He wants us steady. All the time, right. doing God's will. If you can find just a few people like that, you'll stand the great awakening to last till Jesus comes. By saying that since I was 21 years old, and I know it's true. Yes, so don't get discouraged, just rejoice and yes, keep right on the firing line. Yes. Keep on the firing line. Keep on the firing line. The old song I learned back in 1943. Of course, I was, by God's grace, I was on the firing line long before that. But see, it just said, now you keep on the firing line, keep this flame burning that she sang about, and it's by obeying, obeying God and doing what Jesus says to do. Amen. Following Jesus and let God's will be burning in our hearts. Oh, it's important. It's so important. And then I'll tell you, you're going to be a great help to your family, your neighbors, your church, your community, and your city when you're on the firing line. And pray for wisdom so that you won't try to set a fire on someone else till they're ready. That's important. That's important. Right. True. The fire will set other hearts afire as we go slow. The slower you go, the more it will occur. The more 
as you learn to go slow with God, the more God will work through you to start other little flames burning. People's hearts. As we do this by God's grace and spirit and power. Oh, he wants men to really be all for him. Women all for him. Really, truly, in their heart. In their mind, in their soul, in their body, in their being. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Amen.